Pat Quinn will tell you he's a very fortunate man. The coach of Canada's national junior hockey team is also a former NHL and Olympic coach, and he was able to overcome a painful health problem to continue his coaching career. I was having a lot of difficulty in uh, 96 uh, walking uh, and uh, I was having more and more trouble doing my work on the ice and, and then finally in 97 I did have the, the surgery to uh, replace the hip, full replacement. I didn't have any uh, complications like many people do. One such patient is Mario Zucchini. Just days after his operation, he experienced a blood clot, a potentially deadly side effect which can happen after major orthopedic surgery. And I went for a walk with an assistant beside my wife and I, and I collapsed. And uh, so I remember. But I was told after that a doctor was in the vicinity and he came to see me and he saved my life. Dr. Alexander Turpy is professor of medicine at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario, and a world-renowned expert in blood diseases. He describes a new treatment, Xeralto, as a breakthrough because it may prevent this potentially deadly post-surgical complication. We have been able over the years to develop ways of preventing these blood clots, largely blood thinning drugs, but the current ones have limitations. There have been major advances in the development of new drugs, and the most important of these is Zeralto, which has recently been approved in Canada for the prevention of thrombosis in orthopedic surgery. This has been shown to be highly effective and will revolutionize the management of the patients who have these procedures. Such clots kill more people each year than breast cancer, AIDS, and motor vehicle accidents combined, and they occur in 40 to 60 percent of patients who undergo major orthopedic surgery and do not receive preventative care. After most surgeries, uh, you need to know about blood clotting, and, uh, and obviously uh, uh, talk to your doctor about that because in my case I had to uh, take some blood thinners, and uh, in my case also it was by injection. I had to inject it into the midsection and it uh, wasn't a lot of fun, but it had to be done. The danger of blood clots extends well after surgery, so preventative therapy must continue for up to a month. The current drugs we have are either given by injection or require regular blood tests. The beauty of Xeralto is that it's given once a day without a requirement for monitoring by mouth. Patients who want to learn more about Seralto should talk to their doctor or orthopedic surgeon. Martin Vanderwood reporting.